Hey Cheap Bitches, I'm Rob and this is on the Cheap Tip. Now today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Normally I don't post videos on any major holidays so I figure why not just have a sit down and talk with you guys and talk about some things that I think need to be addressed especially with the last video because there was a lot of controversy on the last video that I didn't think was gonna be so controversial but it just ended up being more than I thought it was gonna be. Before we do this I wanted to let you guys know that I'm probably going to be doing a Q&A, a live q and I've never done those before so I'm a little scared because I can't edit anything so what I say is just what I say and it's out there and I have you know diarrhea of the mouth so sometimes I say things that are just crazy <laughs> so you can't um, judge me but if you want to watch I'm going to be doing a live Q&A on this Sunday I don't know what the date is the 30th, some 30th, 25th, let me figure that out really quickly. I think it's the 26th, but um, you will know because I'll have like a little post after this. And I'll be live at 3 p.m. standard time, e 3 p.m. at Eastern, 3 p.m. Eastern standard time. So I don't know what time that is for you, just Google it. If you need to figure that out, I'm sure Google has all the answers. Why am I moving my hand so much towards the camera? That's probably annoying. And also guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should probably do that because I do a lot of live uh, stories for you guys. We have a lot of fun with my Instagram followers. We talk and, um, you know, just talk about everyday lives stuff. I mean, it's nothing serious, but it's kind of fun because you get to interact, ask some questions there as well. So don't forget, watch me on Sunday at 3 p.m. and then also follow me on Instagram. Now on to the reason that I'm kind of making this video is because you may have noticed that I posted a video this past Suck It Up Sunday where it was me reacting to vegan well, not vegan, well, meat and dairy industry documentaries. And my reaction has kind of struck a chord with some people, so well, let's talk. I first want to say that I've been thinking about watching these types of videos for a while now. I don't know if anyone has seen Okja on Netflix, but that movie kind of sparked my interest. And it's a fictionalized movie, it's nothing like uh, real. It's about a big super pig and, you know, the farming of them and all this stuff. And it just kind of sparked my interest because that was definitely a political movie and very much based on the way that we treat our livestock every day. So that kind of prompted me to want to watch some of these real documentaries. Now when I decided to do it, I didn't think that it was going to be as heavy as it was, I, I wasn't in any way thinking it was going to be funny, but I didn't think it'd be as, as dark <laughs> and as effective on my soul. Some people had commented that I was looking for attention and trying to convert people and why am I being overly dramatic and calling me all sorts of names. The fact of people saying that the way I made the video was just to get attention or something, no. As an artist and as a, you know, a filmmaker myself, you always want to have a certain tone to your video and you want to be able to strike an emotion. And I felt like this video, to do it respect, the way I edited it um, was to, sh to evoke emotion. Everything was very real, everything was very genuine, nothing was faked. I was literally watching the videos on camera and giving you my genuine reaction. I am a sensitive person. I can cry at the drop of a dime. Like, it's just, it, that's just what happens. Is that the saying, drop of a dime? I think it's drop of a hat, but nonetheless. Some people just say that I was being fake or being, over dramatic, you know, suck my nuts, basically. <laughs> if you're human and you have one ounce of humanity, you would know that I was being very genuine when I made this video. So I don't need to explain that, but for some reason I need to explain that. So that's what I'm doing. Another thing is, is that someone said that I was trying to convert people. No, that really wasn't the case because 
I am not, I, I don't consider myself a vegan at this point. I have taken steps towards eliminating animal products from my life, but I cannot fully say that I am totally vegan yet. Will I be? I don't know. I even explained that in the video. So for the fact that someone's saying, oh, if you try to convert people, then you failed. I'm like, that wasn't the point. The point was just about me. It was really a video about me, like about me watching this and, and and reacting to it, and that's what it was. So take it for what it is. I don't know why you got your panties in a bunch. When people come at me like this, I know that I struck a chord. So basically my video actually did do its job because it made you feel some type of way where you feel like you had to react. Either it was a good reaction or a bad reaction, you reacted. And that is the point of good videos is to strike a chord with your audience and, and make them feel what you're feeling and that's the connection there so i don't think i did a bad job at all i think i was just being my true honest self and that's pretty much it i can't you know you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't like i, I tried to stop making super controversial videos it just seems like no matter what i do something's controversial so i'm just at this point saying F it i'm gonna do whatever the f i want on my channel i'm gonna make controversial videos if youtube wants to ban them or unmonetize them so be it i mean i just i can't win i can't win it doesn't matter what it is i could just be me and people hate me for just being me so the real problem is is that social media gives people that are nasty too much opportunity to spread their hatred because they hate their own lives but that's another video in itself but for those of you who have given me great encouragement and suggestions and um, support for this video i appreciate that and i really thank you guys for you know, understanding where I'm coming from, even if you aren't. There's people who were commenting that weren't vegans that still eat meat and still thought it was effective for them, you know? it's It was just really a video for, like, food for thought kind of thing. And that's all I was just trying to convey. Maybe we should just be a little bit more conscious of what we're eating so that we are okay with the decisions that we make. I am becoming okay with the decisions that I make when it comes to food. I, right now, have been, I, I wouldn't say a vegetarian. I have cut out meat for about two weeks. It's almost two weeks. And I stopped eating chicken, pork, and beef. I still eat fish every now and then because I really like sushi and I feel bad for the fish, but I really like sushi. <laughs> that is just one thing that I still eat. That's pretty good compared to what I used to do. I used to eat chicken like pretty much all the time. That was like my go-to meat. I would have pork every now and then, I'd have beef. I wasn't ever really a big steak eater to begin with, so that wasn't as hard to just cut out. Pork, mm, I don't really eat like regular bacon. I was eating turkey, so I don't really eat that anymore but poultry was kind of the one thing that I did eat a lot of but after seeing some of those videos and how they are treated I don't think I could do it with a good conscious conscience anymore if you feel like you could do it that's fine no judgment I'm not judging anybody you know I know that there are some extremists out there who, you know, kind of shun everyone from eating meat and all the stuff. And I, I, I'm not shunning anyone. I'm saying, do you boo, and I'm gonna do me. But I just want to give you my perspective. That's why I'm here. That's why I make videos, because they come from my brain <laughs> and my life. So <laughs> that's the reason. I still eat a little bit of dairy products now. I've lessened that as well to the point where I'm not drinking any kind of milk uh, at all. I've turned to almond milk. I still eat cheese because I love cheese. I have tried vegan cheese. It is not that bad, but to me it is not the same as regular cheese. Have I tried enough vegan cheeses to know that? No. but. You know, it's a slow process. I'll slowly get there eventually. I just need, you know, to work my way into it. You gotta understand, this is a 
cultural aspect of how I've been raised and I I've been eating like this for all of my life so you switching is is tough to do when you're just regimented I just have to figure out what is the right kind of diet for me as of now I'm just doing mostly you know nuts and beans and uh, lots of vegetables and fruits and things like that I stocked my refrigerator the only thing with that is is that it gets a little expensive buying all these products all the time because fruits and vegetables go bad fast and you have to kind of eat them within a certain amount of days or you're not gonna have any food but all in all I have to say not doing too bad and not hating being vegetarian or pescatarian I don't know what I guess I'm pescatarian because I eat fish I hate labels especially when it comes to like food and stuff. I think people just draw too much attention to it, but I, I just want to label myself as conscious. That's the diet that I'm on. Eating a conscious diet. So there you go. Hopefully that summed up some of the controversy from that last video. Whatever. I will be back on the regular schedule next week, but we are doing a live video on Sunday at 3 p.m. So make sure that you watch that. And I will see you guys next time. I don't know why I'm doing that, but whatever. Bye!